When I arrived on the 8th of May 1945 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon at the Gare du Nord, my wife was there to receive me and I heard Winston Churchill proclaiming that this was VE Day. That was a great moment. I had left Paris about a year before, 10 months before, at a time when Paris was still uh, very severely occupied, no cars, we were all riding bicycles, and the flowery trees were absolutely marvelous because there was no car traffic. When I came back, Paris was already crowded, had been liberated nine months before, and therefore it was quite a different picture. I was uh, struck by the movement in the streets. I was struck by a sort of general happiness prevailing. But on the other hand, uh, I had the feeling that uh, the Frenchmen were still very much under the pressure of having to retrieve the numerous prisoners that had been kept in Germany. So the atmosphere was not altogether joyous. And I was most unhappy because I had missed the great moment which would have been the liberation of Paris on the 25th of August. And to have been in Buchenwald on that day rather than to be in the streets in Paris, that was really a mistake. For me, of course, a day like this is a day of remembrance on the one hand, and it feels good 50 years later to know that uh, Europe is at last united. You see, we, in the concentration camps, we had the feeling that uh, we had a common democratic destiny and that once the war was over, we should do everything possible to avoid the recurrence of such a terrible slaughter. Well, 50 years later, the world doesn't look altogether beautiful. There are many areas of uh, dis disarray and misfortune, but Europe is a united whole.